advice. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. You are what you watch. That's exactly what I mean. You are what you watch. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Harry Tumbotko and welcome to Talk to Harry. Harry, that's me. Okay, in this program, what we're going to do is we actually wanted to talk about Congress. Now, who else better than to get the majority floor leader? But he's not yet in the studio for one reason or another, so we're going to give it a couple of minutes before he does come in. However, we have another guest who's not, I can't really say is a guest. He's no stranger to you in your living rooms. You know about him. He was, he ran in the last elections and he's rumored to be many, many things. He's also a broadcaster, <laughs> a very learned person. And at this point, before we even go into that, I'd like to talk about other issues that concern us all. Now, remember, our subjects are limited to one always. It's called nation building. Now, if we don't talk about that, we don't concern ourselves with that, why should we even have this camera? Why even the relevance of GNN? We just cease to exist. You see, media and what we're doing is all about nation building. Not just because we want to critique, not because we want to raise our hands in the, in the sky with clenched fists. Alam niyo po, ang tawag po dyan, iisa lang ang bayan eh. Ako, ewan ko para sa inyo mga nakikinig, ako bayan ko ito. So ako, ginagawa ko kung anong tama, anong tingin ko dapat gawin ko. And the best way I can do this is to bring into your living rooms issues, analysis, critiques if necessary, criticism. I can be sarcastic, I can be personal, I can be biased. But hey, I'm human. But at least I will not talk nonsense, raise my pants and show you my legs with all the hair that's there. Because I'm not here to entertain you. We're only here to help you and to help ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, we have... Neric Acosta, Congressman Dr. Neric Acosta. Thank you. Thank you uh, very Harry. much. Thank you. Well, I'm very glad to be here again. <laughs> uh, this is uh, not the first or hopefully not, of course, uh, the last. Well, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what's going to happen is we're going to see a lot more of Congressman Neric Acosta in the next few weeks because he just agreed in the studio tonight <laughs> that he was, he's willing to host a TV show <laughs> A prime one hour, prime time one hour TV show wow. right here on GNN. Wow, now it's out of the bag. There you go. <laughs> That's as, as a public as you can get. But it's, a, it's actually in many ways a dream of mine, uh, Harry. I've been in broadcast, right, in, even in the time I, I served in Congress. And I was uh, in radio, especially in local radio, in Bukidnon and in Cagayan de Oro. Ah, media talaga ka ikaw. Well, no, no, not talaga. It was just sort of parallel to being in politics. It wasn't one leading necessarily to the other. It was that as I got more involved with the public arena uh, in development work, in teaching, and then in, then in running uh, for bo both local and then national office, uh, it just seemed like a, uh, a logical sort of a parallel <laughs> track <Well. laughs> that I, the, the uh, requirements for legislation, for public engagement, for uh, the kind of teaching that I do, which is really about public policy and governance mm -hmm. and environment, especially my, close to my heart. And so uh, I just looked at politics and therefore uh, the media as sort of the bigger classroom. Uh, tell <laughs> so our, tell, tell our audience up. about RJAM, because I listen to you in the morning, which is why it reminds me. That's why I said, we got to get Narek on the studio. Oh, we got to get Narek. Thank you. Well, uh, tell us about RJAM. Thank That's you. Uh, what time? Harry. Well, it's from 8 to 11. I interface from 8 to 9 with David Nye. David who's Nye, been, yes. Uh, who's been in uh, media and broadcast much longer than, than I have. But, uh, and then from 9 to 11, that's Coffee Break with Narek mm -hmm. Acosta. 
uh, DZRJ 810 AM, yeah, yeah. we call it the voice of the Philippines, real time news all mm -hmm. the time, is actually s is, is, is new. No? Mm -hmm. It's about English. English. Pero AM, no? AM, AM frequency. AM. Yeah. So it's a new niche. Yes. Uh, hopefully, parang may may taglish naman din, but it's predominantly really in the format of English. We have partners, the Philippine Star, uh, Voice of America, mm -hmm. yes, yes. and BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. And we have live feeds from life coaches yes. and commentary. So news and views. So not strict, just delivery of commentary and then, you know, sagupaan, away, sabungan. Hindi naman ganun, no? No, we were invited. But it's, it's, it's uh, and, and, we, and, and we really want a, um, as you said earlier, a meaningful, uh, in, in a sense, intelligent, in the sense that uh, we're able to really listen and not just get sound bites, but listen mm. to insights and from different sectors and that's why we call it and from different individuals we that's why we call it the voice of the philippines the voice your philippines. voice yeah. and so yeah 8 to 8 to 11 uh, well particularly 9 to 11 for my monday to friday monday to friday on dzrj no, 8 10 a. we were invited gnn was invited to be the news source because we're uh, one of the few that do yes. our news in straight english yes we were invited for one reason or another because everyone is very busy uh, but I can see sometime in the future that emerging. Absolutely. You know, Narek, your advantage is your ability to convey messages. How important is that to politicians? Because many politicians, when one, when you ask them to engagement, which is really the role of leaders, yeah. when you write their offices, uh, please come and have a talk in our event or our convention, the role of leaders, other than administrating in the specific job performance or department that they belong to, really has a role to play with the people right and they need to be good conveyors diba? absolutely to convey ideas so that government become more transparent to the yes. people yet many are not or how do you say it don't have that capacity to engage their audiences yeah. much less convey a message now how important is that part of a leader yeah. than those who say wow but piscina lang ako Ako, gagawa lang ako accounting. Yeah. Hindi naman pwede yan, di ba? Pag leader ka, kailangan right. sa harap ka ng tao. Right. Correct right. me if I'm wrong. Absolutely, you're correct. Uh, I think, especially when you're in elective office. Yeah. Uh, to a certain extent, maybe appointive office, you're more of a doer, an administrator, a technocrat. Uh, you can get away by saying, well, you know, I need to lay the groundwork for certain policies, uh, the study of that, the research for that. But and, nevertheless. But, but nevertheless, yes, I'm not yeah. saying, but more so on, in elective office, because elective office means you have a constituency or a, a multi-sectoral constituency who really put their trust in you and saying, please represent us mm -hmm. or because you presented yourself, okay, we, and it's a give and take, it's a social contract. We vote you. We vote you in, but we want to hear you. Yes. And you have to continue articulating, speaking, not only on behalf of all of us, mm -hmm. but also to communicate what you also believe you can distill from, out, from our different voices. So mm -hmm. it's not as if you simply mimic uh, whatever it is that, of course, representing uh, a public, a greater mix of, 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 of different sectors, Harry, is not as if you just say, oh, kung yun ang survey ng tao, yun na lang sasabihin ko, no? Uh, oh, yun na lang ang, I, and then you become a mouthpiece. You're also expected, I would like to believe, and that is th that you are also given the responsibility to help elevate a discourse. Mm. And when you do that, you're able to also explain mm. that while yes we represent i represent this whole district or province uh th the the fact that there are contending right, right. interests right and ideas and politics is about contestation right then you know and that yes. that you are also expected to help cohere that and make make mm. that that a convert uh, have mm. a convergence on on very sometimes acrimonious and mm. difficult the discussions right and, and it, it's always tension filled so yes a leader is one who should be able to not only represent mm -hmm. and embody but articulate uh, exactly and when you articulate you're able you're able to really put into action something that what you've articulated will be held you to, know, account to. to account to yeah so you will <laughs> you will be taken to task one way or another which is fair because that's the social contract you were entrusted with that 
position in respon of responsibility, you are supposed to be able to not run away from what you have publicly articulated and what you continue to transmit. Uh, as a, uh, so very important, absolutely. Very I'll, important. I'll give you an example. Ladies and gentlemen, we have this situation, this whole new scandalous case that the whole country is up in arms against. This is called the Carlos, the General Carlos Garcia issue. Now, this involves basically the real issues here. It's not any longer just Carlos Garcia, but what he represented, wherein the Ombudsman, which is another institution that is being questioned, you see, nangyari kay Ombudsman Gutierrez, who is a learned person, mind you, a legal person, learned and whatnot, because she refuses to address media and refuses to open and, and convey her position. Nangyayari, regardless of what happens, we already create a perception in a mold of what you are and what not. Right. Immediately at this point, how do we see her? Akorapto. Ito, kaibigan to ni Jamie, hinahawakan niya ito. Baka kasali pa ito. Ito, nabayaran. Ang dami, yes. kuro, kuro eh. Yeah. When you shut up and say nothing, that indecision will snowball into what we call consequences. Right. what we were talking about right. before we started the show. So even the executive branch, let's suppose the Department of Health. Yes. If the cabinet secretary decides not to come out into the open and has mascots and whoever, unless there's really a a designated spokesperson because hindi siya marunong magsalita. Pwede naman yun, ano? Pero dapat, nangingibabaw, humaharap sa publiko at sinasabi, eh kung may dengue sa mas bate, kung kunwali lang, may dengue or may, may fish kill dito sa kung saan-saan or, or may hepatitis C dito, yung ganun ba? May, may, right. may plague, right. di ba? Or whatever. <laughs> Kailangan humaharap eh. Hindi pwede yung executive secretary tumatagot at hindi magsasalita. No. Right. Any leader. When a president and a CEO of any company decides to keep quiet, yeah. diba, that's when the company begins to fall apart. Right. No, and we absolutely. have to run it with absolutely. consistency, absolutely. with firmness, decision making, and in one firm hand. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, you're, you're And right. we you're see right. a lot. Right. Try writing Department of Trade and Industry. See if they will even reply to your letter. That's one bus bad business practice Fili Filipinos have. Huh? Sumulat ka formally to any place. Alam mo, any department, wala sumasagot sa'yo. Sumulat ka sa Senado, maniwala ka, hindi ka sasagot. Yeah. Actually, but there is a Republic Act saying that if you're not answered in, di ba, you're supposed to have legal recourse. Ladies and gentlemen, because... I rest my case. <laughs> I rest my case. There you go. You see what I mean? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not belittling them. No, 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 no. But no, it's, right. it's irritating. We have some type of bad business practice in the Philippines. It's not limited to leaders and politicians. Right. In the business community, try writing. Try writing to somebody. They don't write you back. Right. Try writing a bank, di ba? Pero kung ang bangko, may utang ka sa bangko, maniwala ka, araw-arawin ka susulatan. Right. Pero kung ikaw mahabol sa bangko, sumu right. subukan mo sa land bank. Right. Nako, they'll give you the run around. Yes, that's... Why is that, Eneric? Well, Why do you I, think? Well, I, 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 ikaw I, hindi ka ganun eh. I, I, you convey I, I, kasi, you go out there, you do the extra money. Why the others this practice? I, I'm, I'm not sure, Harry, if it is also because over time, uh, it reflects. It has reflected the weaknesses of the of our institutions. No? That uh, we think we can get away with either not sins of omission or sins of commission, meaning you know you get away with not writing back, because in the end it's about accountability. Yes. You see, so maybe I'm the so lack glad of, I'm hearing it from you. The lack, the lack of accountability is is also if that if that is the what permeates institutional processes. Na ah, kaya natin to anyway, hindi na rin yan papansinin. Oh, di ba na bahala na silang mag- uh, di ba? Bahala na silang maggalit. Ah, uh, pakialam ba natin? We're the ones in power. That that really also the whole attitude yeah. reflects already a lack of accountability. So, so what kung hindi ako sasagot? Pakialam ko ba? Uh, anyway, sa susunod na election eh, you know, we'll sing and dance and maybe use more money and then we'll still get back to our positions anyway. There's a lot of that and, and the way to really return to these small, seemingly small practices of writing back or, 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 or just uh, being responsible for what you say yes. or saying sorry, if you know, I mean, being public about, you know, uh, the, the things that you must be accountable to yes, yes. Uh, really reflects in the end uh, institutions. Yung bang kung ano yung na practices that are really that, that, that really define what we do, how we are as a government, how we, what, what kind of governance uh, is, is prevalent, etc. So sa akin, uh, in the end, uh, Harry, is it's, it's 
there is really a lack of public accountability all across. And if you lack that, you are not able, you're not able to really shape no? a strong sense of what should be and what shouldn't be. Okay, we're going so, to have to... I'm even have to writing cut. letters. <laughs> so accountability <laughs> is primary in right. many, many ways. Accountability. Okay. Pananaguta. We're going to have to cut you off. I'm sorry. I hope you don't find me rude. We are going to have to take a short break, but we'll be right back and believe me, we'll get into this even more. So stay with us. You are what you watch. You are what you watch. Okay, we're back. My name is Harry Tambuatko. This is Talk to Harry. We, you heard, you heard uh, our first guest. We had Neric Acosta, Congressman Neric Acosta. And now we have, I made a mistake. I introduced him as Majority Floor Leader. He's Deputy Speaker for the current 15th Congress. We have Congressman Erin Tanyada. Maraming salamat. You're here to take time out because on a Monday, wala pa naman yung session. Nagtatrabaho ka na. Technical Working Group. Iyan ang... Yes, uh, we, we had a meeting th uh, this afternoon on uh, the compens Marcos Compensation Bill. This bill has been pending forever, <laughs> forever also in the House. Marcos I, Compensation Bill? Yeah, this is the Human Rights Victims ah, Bill. All right, yes, yes, the and, money. And uh, the money is there. Uh, we've confirmed it was there because be in previous Nahanap administration, they would always say uh, yes. it's a moving, it's big, 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 big. <laughs> vague. Or even a garment. Uh, but no, but we were able to verify that ten billion is intact. And uh, is that with land bank? Uh, yes. Yes. Watch it. <laughs> no. But I, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pun intended. Well, uh, <laughs> well, uh, what was good, no? Uh, last uh, December, if I'm not mistaken, or last part of November, the president came out with a statement that uh, he would want to see. Uh, the Marcos Victims Compensation yes. Bill closed already. Tapos na lahat. Yeah, and so so this is the reason why uh, we I, I called for a technical working group with, of course, the permission of the chairman. The chairman of the Com Committee on Human Rights in the House is uh, Congressman Rene, Rene mm -hmm. Relampagos of Bohol. And uh, he knows that I was the one really working at it uh, in the last Congress. As a matter of fact, it, it was approved uh, by the committee uh, in the 14th Congress, but when it got to plenary, Natu natulog. Natulog na eh. Ayaw na akong gisingin para makipagdebate. Hindi na tinawag. Although, the pronouncements hmm. of... Uh, Why is that? Why does that happen? Well, I, I would... Uh, you my, don't have the number. My, no. Uh, my, my thinking is that uh, there were other forces, no, let's, say, uh, let's say like the, uh, Secretary Gonzalez at the time, who did not want to see this bill enacted into law. But again, we always go back. It is a commitment that we made to the Swiss government 
That's right. This is one of the reasons why the money was transferred mm. to mm. the Philippines. Mm. So it needs legislation pala to finish this whole thing. Yes, because under under the present uh, setup, when we passed the old agrarian reform law, uh, all ill-gotten wealth from uh, the Marcos, Marcos administra era. administration would be used for agrarian reform purposes. And so when, when we were able to secure the, the transfer, the Swiss government said you have also to pay the Marcos mm. human rights victims. So it needed... $65 million, you know, and I yes. remember that was the magic figure. Yes, and uh, it needed a, a, a law to amend that portion of uh, mm. the agrarian reform law. Is that what you call the enabling law? That's what you're doing yes, now? Yes, yes. So it's been attempted in the, in the 10th Congress, 11th Congress, 12th Congress. Wow. I, I, I have another issue that you passed during December. It's a pet peeve. Ko lang. Uh, Senator Joker Royo came out and he opened up his mouth and he clashed with the palace as we read in the newspapers about the debt cap b being 55% of the GDP. And again, the government, um, well, uh, the president vetoed it and he doesn't want any debt cap on it. Pinasan ng Congress, but you guys in Congress were very conservative and wanted to keep the cap, so did the Senate. And yet the President said, no, you don't feel bad about that. No, we don't feel bad. Uh, uh, we, we have our, our own respective positions with mm. regard to this. Eh kung umutang ang gobyerno ngayon dito, if well, they keep borrowing over and above the 55% of the G GDP, we'll be in trouble like the Marcos time. I, I, I think the... Pre it's not a problem. I think, uh, pres I have confidence in President uh, Noy that he would be very... But it's not President Noy, it's Purisima. No, but in <laughs> the end... Who's the right? Who's the, he's just one of the executives. But right? in the end, it would be the call of the President. And... Uh, oh, bad guy, we, responsibility. Yeah, Command we, responsibility. It would, I, I stand I, corrected. We, we have enough uh, faith and confidence in the President that uh, he would not be reckless in... in uh, Besides, in you are those. there. I mean, you're in the same party, all of you, I mean, in Congress. <laughs> If it, if it comes to be, then you will call attention to it as well. Yes. In spite of it going by Congress, you yes. let it go. And I'm sure the Senate will do the same. Mm -hmm. no? Tingin ko naman eh. It's just, I found it funny na, but inipit yung debt cap? Yeah, yeah. Iba malaking issue. And then Arroyo's opening his mouth, screaming. And really, he's not anti-Pinoy. I mean, my gosh, this guy served under the mother, Tita Cory, di ba? Yes. Kaya nagtaka ako, sabi ko, hey, what's going on here, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if What's you look, going on? If, yeah. if, 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 if you look, if you look at also the pronouncements of uh, Senator Arroyo during the campaign, he was not really uh, holding his punches on. on that's uh, true. That's but that's true. good. It's yeah, a democracy. That's right. It's that's a democracy. Basta right. all for the good. Wag lang yung you're you're doing it to upstage yourself. I mean, you know, tapos na election. Let's go to work, di ba? That's what we're all trying. Please to do. Uh, update us on Congress. What can we expect? The last time I had you, we were opening the second session, and now <laughs> the third. Now every time we open the session, I always make a point to ask uh, uh, Congressman Erin to come to the. It's Erin's uh, final term. Yeah, it's yeah. my, yes, my I know. third which, term. Which is why he's being very attentive. He's doing everything, and I, I believe in this. I remember it just after the elections, we sat down and talked about it yes. as well. Now is the third session. Tell us, what can we expect? Well, uh, the, the palace had announced that uh, they're, they're preparing for that LEDAC meeting that uh, we, are, we are all waiting for to finally put down uh, what priority bills both, mm -hmm. the, both uh, the legislative branch and, and executive, the executive yeah. branch can agree upon. Mm -hmm. Now, it does not necessarily mean that those that are not agreed upon mm -hmm. would not... Uh, go through the regular process it would still go through the regular mm. process it's just that there will be a little more emphasis on certain things that both cha both uh, branches of government mm. will agree upon and uh, we're hoping that uh, this ledac will will be called uh, when as, as soon as uh, congress resumes next week so it might be uh, next week or the week after next no relationship to the ppp the public private partnership of the no, president's no. Uh, Kasi yun din mga priority projects niya pinapasok. Now you have the LEDA. Alam mo, there's a growing concern. I don't know if you, if you believe in it or not, but there's a lot of critique going around that the current government is now very pro-big business. This is not correct, is it? I don't, th I don't think so. Good, uh, please. Uh, please lay to rest. Of course, uh, there will always be the supporters of the president who, mm. who come from different sectors. <laughs> you can't that, help that. That, that, that would Nation always building. call, call, uh. call his attention. I think maybe what is not uh, mentioned that uh, uh, I am for investors, 
but they should also respect the laws yes. uh, with regard to the, the, yeah, yeah. follow through statements eh, parang, including environmental oh, laws parang, you can yeah. get away alam with mo, it alam mo, president, alam mo? Right. Alam mo, I was telling no. uh, congressman Eric no, before we started the show pag in offer sa akin ang position ng presidente you know ito hari mo presidente ka, I would say as much as I love this country and I do and <laughs> proof of that I've never laughed I won't take the job I can't handle it 24/7 ang mata ng lahat ng tao every day pag mo every waking moment sir ano gagawin natin dito sir ano gagawin natin sir ano gagawin natin dito ikaw na nag-iisa sa congress marami kayo eh. at least you can get around may committee hearings kayo and you act as a collegiate body yes. either way ang presidente hindi eh magkamali ka mumurahin ka if you do well, you can't please everyone. You, but that's the truth, that's the isn't way it? Is. But I think maybe transparency and the ability to convey to the people using media, go out and talk, explain, like what you're doing now. May ledak lalabas dyan. You know, yes. maganda yung ganyan eh. Actually, just a quick point about the big business uh, perception, if it, it is, uh, Harry. I think uh, Congressman Tanyado will agree that this is, in fact, the first budget that is is really very heavily biased for for the poor. Yes. In fact, with the conditional cash yeah, transfers CCT. and well, not I find only that, that a bit weird. No, the CCT. No, no, but, but then but, again, but it's if, another if subject. Only, if only for that, among others. But if yes, only yes, for yes. that, and the fact that the president himself, as far as his own his own carriage no, of, of 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 the office. Uh, he is really you can you 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 cannot not appreciate that there is really move towards austerity. He brings a very lean delegation wherever he goes. He doesn't you know. So th these are little examples that in the end, That's yes, true. you want the investments and you want the partnership with with big business because you want to drive many of the of programs and projects that the budget alone cannot. Uh, Mind you, there's an appropriation for 800 something million for the travels of the executive for this for this year. But we can be fairly assured, more than assured, that this is not going to be like a previous government that uh, oh, overshot. <laughs> well, oh, you mean you mean those great dinners in New York? And, 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 uh, you can, those dinners. great dinners in New no York? No way. <laughs> Harry, you can imagine right now. Uh, I think by next week uh, there has to be a decision made if he's going to Davos or not, and I think he's still. Yeah. Not really. But if he doesn't want the austerity measures and all, we can send our financially, you know, capable, competent technocrats to handle that. You mean uh, to, to, to to represent, to the, represent the president if need be? Hindi naman kailangan talaga siya parati lahat na well, lahat. No? Well, it, it will depend. If, if uh, the agenda for such a conference calls for signing of yeah. documents where heads of state yeah, should, be should be there, then kailangan talaga. Then kailangan oh, talaga. So, talaga. So then, I, I agree then. Because it's, the world is no longer just us. Yeah. It's, it's everybody else. Right. We just finished the holidays and a lot of the broadsheets again are coming up. Thank you, Mr. President. You gave us a 30% increase over the holidays on across the board on consumer items, etc., etc., etc. How would you address that issue? Again, perception. Well, uh, I think... Because uh, it's <laughs> Tomas and Gasolina. That's not his fault. Gasolina, that's not his fault. Even but, the toll is not his fault. Oh, but perception, it is. It's well, again, it's a communication problem. I would always say... Oh my say God, that that's right. It's communication. I, it's media. Kulang of media. I, they're, I, not, they're not defending him the right way. I, then. I would always <laughs> say that uh, the, the toll was based on a decision mm -hmm. by the Supreme Court and the, he's just implementing mm -hmm. what the Supreme Court says. And uh, if no we commodity go, prices go, going up across the board. Well, that's free market. Oh, nah. It's and a global phenomenon. Oh. Maybe there needs to be more um, communication on behalf of the executive branch to really identify uh, his role, his powers, and uh, basically the economy yeah. that he is. And but we should also look, Harry, right now, uh, watching the prices of oil per barrel go up. Go up. It's no, it's dangerous again. Na, We're going na. back to 2008. Uh, yes. uh, levels, uh, levels mm -hmm. no? but although uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Egypt said they, they would not yeah. increase. So we'll see how it goes the next few months because we're just entering uh, in, the, in the United States and uh, Europe. We're just entering into the mm. really bitter winter season. And there's demands yeah. the uh, Congressional oversight, how active are you now? Because basically other than just legislation and making new rules or new laws, 
Um, the role of a congressman and senators basically is oversight to try yes. and control implementation, see if it's being implemented, yes. as well as going, hey, maling ginagawa mo dyan. Where is that going? What do you expect it to happen in this session? Well, right now in the House, uh, there was a debate whether to continue with the committee, uh, the Congressional Committee on Oversight or not. Because uh, the problem... Yun? The pr well, I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is, Harry. Uh, it seems right now each, each committee has its own oversight functions. So, nagkakaroon ng duplication. Now, now, the leadership is trying to figure out would they allow uh, the different committees have their oversight functions or would it just be one big mm. Where oversight? do you stand? I think it's better to have the bigger one. Big one. one big one. Yeah. Then. And then to look para, para independence. So, third party, even though you're not part of the committee, you say, hey, there's something wrong with that. Yes. Because sometimes when you're too involved with the case, you're not as effective if you're going to be your own oversight. Yes. Right. yes. When is that? When do you expect this to Well, uh, uh, the, the rules are being circulated right now. D this is a good thing. Uh, we are operating on the 14th Congress rules uh, from July up to the present. And uh, there's a draft of uh, what the 15th uh, uh, Congressional rules will be. It's been circulated uh, to the members right now. Hopefully, we'll be approving it approving it uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, coming session, mm. you know, the next few weeks. Uh, I think the debate will be on the floor whether, whether to maintain the oversight or not. Scandalous issues. What are you going to do about the man in Hong Kong behind bars? Well, we'll just have to wait. <laughs> the ethics, yeah, eh? We'll just have to wait. Until the 26th, no? No choice, kayo, yes, no? Uh, I I always, sa inyo si Governor, He's getting mad at Congress. I always say that uh, everything until the 26th is speculative. And, and nice exactly the 26th. Good way to put it. Because, one way because, or another. Okay, uh, if, if, what if one way or another, how, if it cuts one way and cuts the other, what will Congress really do? Well, if he, if he pleads, he enters a plea of not guilty, then we will have to wait until uh, the ultimate. But if it's guilty, we'll have no choice. We have no choice. No? He, ad he admits to committing a, a, crime. Uh, a crime. We cannot agree, we do not agree to the f fact that, uh, no, it's just a legal tactic. <laughs> because you still admit to a crime. Uh, if you're if you're strong if you strongly believe that you did not commit anything wrong, then you then stand okay lang. Stand by. not okay guilty. Lang. Okay lang. But so you're very active now with this session that's coming up. Are you happy with the way things are going? You just finished the budget, well, right? well, and Harry, the first budget in eleven years that was passed before the year end. Is that true? That's no, really? True. Enacted, Is it before yeah. December thirty one? Yes. yes. It was signed December twenty eight. Twenty seven. Ah twenty seven. Ah, Two yes. days after Christmas. Ah halus paratin. Always. Oh. Always you know why? Extending towards. Okay. You know why it is always uh, delayed. Para marina, marina, ma open you, mga... you have first quarter free enactment, yes. and not only that, in accounting procedures, Harry, usually what you use in the first quarter, you deduct on the second, third quarter. <laughs> no, this one is over and above. Over and above. Yeah. Why didn't you do? Why did? Can we look forward to 2012? The budget being itemized, nina lump sum. Yeah, malaking issue yan, di ba? Yung pinasabi ng puro lap, it's still lump sum to a certain extent. Yes, To a yes, big extent. Yes. Kaya well, ba natin i-identify yan? Ang masyadong mahirap, too tedious. We can, we can try slowly on a per department. Uh, we can it do is, it, no? we can't do it wholesale. People don't understand kasi it is tedious eh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Just, just to, but the more I, you identify in detail, talaga ma-identify kung merong corruption man. No, I mean, it just becomes really, as, as we say, the devil's in the details. And if you really want the devil's uh, so-called uh, corruption. Do lalabas. Oh, lalabas. And, Pero kaya and, but at the same time, kaya. accountability kaya. becomes... Oh. Pero of course, weird. you will see a, a, a push cart of a budget <laughs> being delivered. That, no, but if we start now... That's the way it is. No, the, the beauty right now uh, is that uh, this January, uh, I think the Secretary of the Department of Budget and Management is already doing the budget call. Oh my God. They intend to... Finally. They intend to submit to Congress, uh, the budget for 2012, if not by the son of the president, one week after. Can't it be much earlier? Is it too difficult? We already have the budget, we already know, but if they can identify more specifically and give it to Congress ahead of time, let's say give it by March, so we have a good nine months. Well, let's, let's do it step by step. They'll try to do it a month earlier because 
you what is what is stated in our constitution is uh, one month after Congress opens. Uh, that's the constitution. But yes. with the work, there's so much work in the budget. Really, six months, five, six months is a bit difficult. Why don't you start from the very beginning? Well, that's why we're trying to incul. I think the, the, the government is trying to inculcate this. And uh, slowly, let's start first uh, a week after SONA. If yes, it works yes. well, then the next year we move a one back. Earlier. Oh, no, but, yeah. but you have to also remember, Harry, I mean, I'm sure the congressman knows this, uh, uh, that, that it has to parallel with now with the MTPDP, you know, the Medium Term yes. Development uh, Plan, which is really what will define the roadmap for the Aquino administration all the way to 2016 mm -hmm. or beyond. I mean, at least the groundwork for that and you can't expect the CCT, can the CCT. No, but you, you, Diva, you can't expect I know Erin you, you can't expect that uh, all the departments will have right off even if you wanted it sooner uh, that they'd have because you, you would also have to make sure especially now the challenge is to make, to, to, to be in keeping with yes, the yes. medium term yes. and then you have the mi millennium development goals it, you, you have to be very clear about targets and, and what kind of budget really goes towards oh. uh, and, and, and attaining those targets. Not only that, Harry, if we, we accelerate it too much, we won't be able to hold the different departments accountable with the budget that now. they... Now, uh, I see. We have no, to I, I'm not familiar with the details. That's why the devil is in the details. But this is just perception. I'm only, I bring it up in media because yeah. the perception of a lot of people that read, listen, and watch TV Parang ganun, doon kayo na ano eh. Bakit hindi na magawa mga kong congressman natin? Pero, ang dali kasi magreklamo, mahir. Kaya maganda lumalabas kayo, ina-explica mo rin sa television. Eh. Nakik uh -huh. Narinig ng mga tao. Para alam mga kababayan natin, uy, nagtatrabaho kami, ano ba kayo? Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we do every afternoon? We show you uninterrupted, we bring you Congress as it works. These are the committee hearings. That, these are public hearings, these right? These are public hearings, anyone Dapat, can attend. Bakit ko konti pumupunta doon? Hindi ko maintindihan eh. Ako, I sit there, I listen, I learn a lot. Well, sometimes you even have problems with attendance, right? Of well, the congressmen well, and those, women themselves. For those uh, <laughs> who want just to attend, well, it depends maybe on the issues that that is uh, on the agenda of the committee hearing. Well, don't worry, I'm not interested in, uh, what's her name, Halili? <laughs> uh, gentlemen, we're already, um, uh, I'm sorry, you were very busy and we had to start ahead, uh, but would like to give you the floor. See, that yeah, shows you that he's a real working oh, deputy speaker. No, he always has. I, I always enjoy, he yeah. always graces me. Every time we open the session, he graces GNN and he comes and he tells us what's going on. And that's good, that's, that's important. Communication, transparency to articulate exactly what people are doing so that people understand, so there is no miscommunication. Absolutely. Your message to our viewers. Well, uh, to continue to, su to support uh, the present administration, especially on the very important pieces of legislation that uh, would be agreed upon by, by both the legislative branch and the executive branch. Uh, I think uh, the fact that uh, the president or even the executive secretary for that matter put on the table uh, the reproductive health bill, I think uh, there's a chance that this would be uh, uh, brought to the floor early so that uh, a vote may be taken, win or lose, whoever side it would be, let's do it. No? Uh, there are other, other important issues like uh, uh, tax reform that uh, uh, the Secretary of Finance is looking at. Uh, of course, mm. uh, the big issue is the Freedom of Information Bill, yes, yes. which, which uh, <laughs> hopefully, forgot. hopefully uh, we'll be able to tackle also uh, when we resume. Uh, I'm also heading the technical working group. Uh, we will be able to hold our first technical working group meeting as soon as Congress resumes by next week. So, so the, we, we have a lot of things to consider and uh, this would help in in pursuit of the go of uh, the president's uh, agenda of good governance and accountability to the people. Thank you very much, Congressman. Uh, Congressman Eric, well, exit message. Well, just, just to really say thank you also, but uh, we, we, we do get the government we deserve. And this is uh, a new government, a new administration, uh, awash with the hopes and aspirations of a people. We had a great historic 2010, historic in, in truly, truly very phenomenal ways. Uh, not least having a Noy Noy Aquino elected to the presidency with this kind of a majority and this kind of support. So as long as we have programs like this, Harry, uh, across <laughs> all media, with new media as well, I think it's important for people to really understand and for us and those of us in leadership positions to ensure that in the explaining we simplify 
but we don't make it simplistic and the complex becomes also understandable because it is your democracy. It is uh, truly what people make of it and understand of it and have themselves engaged in it. We hope you've enjoyed our program, like I said in the beginning. We bring to you as best as we can the real issues and you hear it from them. Although I may be argumentative sometimes, all I'm trying to do is enact <laughs> your role in trying to ask the right questions. Because after all, we all need to be transparent. Para manulong matuto naman tayo. Para yung mga sagot natin, hindi ka bubuhan. Maraming salamat po. My name is Harry Tambot. Go stay with us. We have much more for you right here on GNM. Thank you very much. Thank you, Harry. Salamat. Thank you. You are what you watch.